your favourite figures and collectibles at BigBadToyStore.com. Hey guys, welcome to Cal Hour Reviews. This is Chris. Today we've got a video review of the Transformers Masterpiece MP12 Lambo or Cybertron Warrior Lambo. Uh, he is the Masterpiece Sideswipe um, from Takara Tony. So, very cool package. And just to give you an idea of the actual size of this box, uh, there is a deluxe. <laughs> so, it is quite small, um, but it's not what the size of the box is, it's what's inside that counts, it kind of sounds familiar. Um, anyway, <laughs> so there's your box. It is an official Lamborghini product um, to the point where these actually have their own little numbers that coincide with something like that. Uh, very cool to see that they were able to get that license. Um, the rest of the box we've got just Masterpiece Lambo on there, which is very cool. Uh, the side we've got a little product shot. On the back, one of the car on the bottom, uh, this Lamborghini symbol there, very nice. Um, some telephone numbers, fair enough. Some Japanese, and on the back we've got uh, product shots, we'll try and, there we are, yep. Um, some more product shots with Prime in the trailer down there. The accessories it comes with, small Japanese I can't read, obviously Lambo, and that's your box. So let's get Lambo out of there. Have a look at him, and I'll show you what else comes in the box. Okay, there's Lambor, or I'm going to refer to him as Sideswipe for the rest of the review. There's Sideswipe out of his box, and he comes with a couple of guns here, just a handgun and his shoulder-mounted cannon. And also he comes with two little pile drivers, but we'll have a look at those in due course. We'll just stick them aside there. And we've got Lambor himself. Now, just before I continue, I just want to make note that he actually comes in this... Uh, clamshell, which is very nice, so it means you're not undoing cable ties and stuff. They're just a nice touch that they're still running with these opposed to cable ties. Put that aside, and here we have Lambor himself. So, very awesome representation of the Cointage. Uh, very, very well done. Now, I'll just make note straight away that I think part of their design cue was this car had to be a perfect scale replica of this this particular model. Uh, that being said, that means they had to design the whole robot off this chest pretty much because that will be your width of the robot's chest, so everything from there has to match. Um, and the fact that they were able to scale the car with um, the correct dimensions and scale the car with MP10 and his trailer is fantastic. And then on top of that, in bot mode, he scales with MP10 as well. It, the, the engineering on this is brilliant. Um, underneath, there is no wasted space in this, no hollow points, it's brilliant. Um, it's good to see, I've got a little bit of a panel popping out there, but no problems. Now, another issue people having these was paint having um, bad paint on the bonnets and that. Mine looks really, really nice. Um, not trying to rub it in. You do have that slight colour difference between the roof and the rest, and that's due to this being painted clear plastic, but so be it. All mine has, I'll try and get nice and close to show you, I have that little speck there. There's one on here, but other than that, it's pretty good. Um, can't complain at all. Now, obviously, being a car, um, he does roll um, reasonably well when you've got everything placed in right. He rolls pretty well, um, which is very good. And we're out of focus. Come on, focus in. Um, doesn't do anything else in this mode, obviously. You can get your, your cannon and plug that into the roof. Maybe. So you can put that in the roof if you wish. Um, 
You don't have to, but you can. And pop that out. Now, part of this little Springer uploaded thing is uh, the MP14, which is red alert, will come with the like bar for the police car. So that's good. Now, I'm trying to show you this little bit here. Lamborghini symbol there. Very cool. Nice Autobot symbol. Chrome in the lights is very nice touch. Uh, number plate. Paint there. Coming around. Um, very nice detail on the wheels. Very good. Coming around to the back. Quantage. Lamborghini. All how it's meant to be. Make sure you clip your spoil it together before you do your review. Um, yeah. Very, very nice in general. Now, I'll give you a quick size comparison while we're in this mode, so we'll just set him back there. There he is with a deluxe Vicon, so you can see a um, bit bigger than a deluxe in that mode, or a modern deluxe, I should say. Um, and also, there he is with an older Deluxe, so that's Cybertron Hotshot, um, who is about the same sort of size as Lambor, which is fair enough, because he's a lot bigger, a lot solider. And one more, there it is with Deluxe Dead End. So again, uh, a bit smaller than Lambor there. Um, gives you an idea. Alright. There we are. And at the end of the review, I'm going to show you how he interacts with Masterpiece Prime, and I'll show you his truck mode. Uh, now, transformation on this guy is not too bad at all, really. Uh, come underneath first, and you're going to get these arm pieces. Just put a little bit of pressure on the, the back, and you're going to swing. Oop, first of all, you're going to put these wheels in first. Don't forget that. A um, little bit of a DeLorean action there. And then you're going to swing these arms out in one piece. So just there. Swing them out like that. And let's move the camera back so we can see a little bit better. Okay, once you've done that, you come down here, separate this spoiler section, just like so. And then we're going to separate the bonnet. Um, I find if you do it just on a little bit of a an angle on each side, like that, and that will just come down and just pull that out sit it sort of like that for now. Come down to your legs, just unfold these, unfold these, you to rotate um, this piece forward, rotate this piece forward like that, just get your, your roof section lifted up and sit it back there like that. Now you're going to unfold these legs all the way down, just get those up there like that. Now. Rotate this section down so the wheel is facing the same way as the top there and just rotate this little back of the car section like that. Now, here where you've got your vent, that's going to swing forward like that. And what you're going to do is split the legs. We'll do this on this side too. So that piece forward, that down, and that little vent bit forward. Now, on these black sections, we've got that little, little tabby uh, a little panel in there that just unfolds and what's going to happen is that there's a little um, tab here little bit little um, uh, little hole there couldn't even remember what the name of the hole was and they're going to tab together that just pushes in there like that and then this little section here is going to sit over that like there's a little cut out fold your foot forward Fold heel out, and that will just sit in a little angle, and then tuck that section behind. So that's one leg done. The so same thing here, just fold that down a little bit first. Fold this in, peg it into the leg. Should sit there nice. Fold that up. Fold your foot up, and heel out. And then just fold that section behind. So these are legs done. Get this waist section, fold that down. Now, what you're going to do here, this little spine area here the whole thing is going to fold back like so and then fold up and it's going to click then you're going to get this section here there's a little um, try and focus in there there's a little tiny 
tab there and a little white peg there and that is going to tab onto itself like that yeah fold your arms all the way up like so all the way up like so just sit there square now what you're going to do is extend those out extend those out just bring them down rotate forward bring them down rotate forward you fold out this little arm panel and in here just flip out the hand fold that arm panel back same on this side so that out got the hand back there just flip that out fold that panel back so we're nearly done here and um, when you fold the head out it will quite often be like that you just got to fold that forward come around to the roof fold this panel you're going to fold that in and around. So in and around. And then that backpack is just going to sit on the back like that. And there you have Masterpiece Sideswipe in his fantastic robot mode. Okay, so we've got him in his robot mode. We'll have a quick look at the articulation. First of all, the legs. Uh, we've got a thigh rotation. We got a pin at a, like a socket universal joint there, so that will move all over the place there. Uh, thigh swivel, as I said, you got a nice 90 degree knee. Foot is on a a pivot, and it will go backwards and forwards a little bit. Uh, now the pivot is hindered a little bit by this, so if you want to have it straight, you need to to open that up first, um, just because this little little section here actually slots into that um, so that's your legs we've got a waist uh, very good to see now up on the arms we've got a shoulder uh, that will go in and out in 360 we've got a bicep elbow wrist and hand so obviously that's on both sides uh, no uh, ab crunch or anything head will go up and down and 360 degrees which is great so very good articulation now he has a little bit of a backpack but that's fine it's nice and flat um, looks great there's not really any hollowness to him which is fantastic as well and we'll just come in a little bit closer so there's your head sculpt and it's fantastic now this guy as everyone has said is very unphotogenic um, he just doesn't come off good in photo. It's not too bad on video here. Um, the chest does not look nearly as wide as it appears to be in a lot of photos and that. So that's your details there. Got some abs hiding in there. Nice details all over the place. Legs are very cool. Onto the side. Looking good. Now like I spoke about before, they had to design him with the the actual car in mind so they've done extremely well getting proportions right now it does come with some accessories uh, first of all you've got this the shoulder mounted cannon which can just mount in either side up on here and just push that into the shoulder joint there and that sits there like that can go up and down up to you how you want to have it or you can put it on the other side same thing you can go up and down we'll just stick it like that for now We've also got the hand cannon, and just like the masterpieces before it, Rodimus and uh, Prime, little tabs on the gun there, little um, points in his hand that you can press that into. So, just like that, and he doesn't need to hold it, but um, it doesn't hurt to, to ping it in. So, we'll just get that back there. Cooperate. And he can have his gun. And he's not going to grip it because I'm filming. Never had a problem before. <laughs> Come on. There we are. So just pegs into the hand. And there he has his gun. Now the other thing he comes with is these uh, pile drivers. Which very easily installed. Come across to his arm just like you were doing for transformation. Unfold that but fold the hand away. Close it back up. Now you've got the the uh, hand there what you're going to do is put these two little tabs over that um, little in those holes and there you have 
him with his power driver which is just a little bit of black plastic so it's it's nothing special but you can have him with these power drivers if you wish and there are two of those so uh, very well and now we've had a look at those let's have a look at a size comparison in this mode something I forgot to show very quickly is you can combine the guns that one there and that one there so uh, when they peg in his shoulder they can be combined so there you go now before we do that size comparison one thing I was thinking about is where can you put this gun in this mode now uh, if you grab him and you look in the top there you've got this sort of hollow space you can just sort of sit that back there and it will stay fine so then he's got some kind of gun storage if you wish uh, if not you can just leave it in the box which is probably what I'm going to do when I display him anyway our size comparison we'll just move him to the side there and we'll bring in someone else and there he is with Generations or Fall of Cybertron Starscream who is a a normal size deluxe by these days standards and you can see he's a bit smaller um, obviously he's not a deluxe he's a masterpiece which is their new scaling thing um, so that's a deluxe we'll try someone else and there he is with Cybertron Hotshot again just to give you an idea because Hotshot is a much larger deluxe from times gone by uh, just gives you a bit of an idea on his actual uh, mass if you've got him, if you don't, well, it's probably not helping you too much. So, we'll try someone else as well. How about that? <laughs> Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Uh, we might just zoom out a bit, I think. <laughs> as all you can see right now is he's scratching his abs. Okay, that gives you a better idea of the actual scale between these two. Um, now, according to the uh, actual scale of these guys from the cartoon... This is perfectly represented. Um, Sideswipe only just comes up to his waist, sort of abdomen and area. So that is ideal. And as I said, it just amazes me how... Pardon the size of the thing there. Uh, amazes me how they were able to not only get the car right, but also scale him in vehicle mode with Prime and in robot mode with Prime. So that's just a great way to to see these guys together we'll just swing prime around who is a fantastic figure as well by the way if you don't have him um, so there he is with with prime side on scale so very very cool um, they both have their legs spread a little bit like prime doesn't really make a huge difference but there you have side swipe and prime together my prime has sort of loose ankles which is annoying but anyway, they are together, and let's move on. Okay, guys, to put him back into vehicle mode. First of all, we'll just pop that cannon off there, and we will start wherever, really. It doesn't matter too much at this point. I'm going to start by folding the hands away, so just fold them in, close these door panels back up. So try not to drop him while you're doing it. <laughs> fold the hands away. Now rotate these uh, arms all the way up and we're going to turn in that way and turn in that way and then that just sort of folds down onto itself and pegs into the shoulder like that okay now come to the back just move that um, piece back off there fold your windows out sit them like that fold the window out sit that like that and there's your roof unpeg the chest from there that can sit there and unfold the spine section so straighten it out like so just fold these off to the side whoops try not to unpeg everything but they just fold off to the side peg that back in so we're looking like this and that can just come up like so and just lead the bonnet down a little bit alrighty come down to the legs I'm going to straighten the feet out straighten the feet out just fold that little panel down fold that little panel down we to untap this black section and before you do that fold the crutch panel up so unfold the black grab the black fold that fold that in now we're going to um, rotate this section here backwards 
put back into the panel. So same one there, fold that back into the panel. Right. Now we're going to fold this over and rotate this at the same time. And that foot just goes under there, so rotate that over. I'm going to rotate this at the same time. Now, these feet actually, I'm trying to show you in, in here, there's some little tabs. These feet are actually going to peg onto to those to lock them in and just peg the, the rest of the car together. Now, these will go down and rotate that section up. So down and rotate that section up. It should all line up together. Peg that together and then get your spoiler and that will peg together as well. Okay, so that's the back section of the car done. Just make sure it all lines up correctly, like so, like so. Now get your roof, fold that down, and that's going to peg in under there, peg in under there. That's your roof section done. Bring your bonnet up. Peg that into the front, fold your doors away, like so, fold your doors away, like so, and fold your wheels up, like so. And there you have Lambo back in his vehicle mode. Now, what I'm going to do now is show you a size comparison with Masterpiece Prime, and then I'll show you how he interacts with the trailer. Okay, so we'll just sit him down there. Okay, so we've got him sitting there, and we will bring in Prime. And there he is with Masterpiece Prime, so you can see Prime is quite large. We'll just sit him on the side there and bring Lambor up next to it. So you can see, fairly well scaled with each other. Make sure you get your mirrors out when you Prime or he looks a bit weird. But fairly well scaled with each other. As you can see, the truck tyres are quite a lot larger. But that is a fairly realistic um, looking scale of these guys. Just to keep you a fairly good idea of how they would look together okay and what I'm going to do now is bring in Optimus's trailer and I'll show you how you can put him inside okay so they've got Optimus's trailer uh, very easy just open up his his trailer like you would normally if you have him if you don't watch and see open him up get the doors open slide the little uh, rampy thing down and just sit that there now the side swipe drives up, into the car he goes, close him up again, and there he is in the back Optimus Prime's trailer, so nothing too exciting, but just to show you, they are designed to work together, so slide that back out, slide that back out, and back the car, back down again, make sure your panels are lined up, because they weren't, um, so you can just drive it out. Now, one thing with this is, he doesn't um, quite make it out of there perfectly. Uh, he kind of hits as he comes out, but he looks kind of cool, just, just poking out there, hanging out, playing Nintendo, you know, the whole thing. So, he just drives out, and there you go. That's how they interact. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, I believe you can only really fit one of these in here. Uh, so, which is unfortunate because I'd like to be able to put him and Red Alert in there, but hey, uh, you get what you get. They'd probably both fit in the MP4 set, but then you're out of scale. So, uh, I just love that the, the fact that they're so, again, scaled well in all modes together and it's a replica car as well. Uh, so, very cool. Alrighty guys, let's finish up. That's about everything. Okay guys, that was a video review of the Transformers. Takara Tomy Masterpiece Lambo MP12 uh, or Masterpiece Sideswipe. Uh, very, very good figure. Very, well, more than very, extremely well engineered. Um, the scaling is beautiful. The figure is fairly seamless. The transformation is intuitive but fairly easy to do. Um, everything lines up. Uh, paint can be an issue. Uh, unfortunately, some people have had some bad eggs, but in general, mine is very good. Uh, hopefully, yours will be too if you pick him up after seeing this review, or if you already have him, hopefully yours is in good condition. Um, great to see the licensing for it. 
And on that note, if you're looking for a Western release, there is chances it may not happen. Um, it just depends if Hasbro America can get the licensing um, to release it in America. But we'll see what happens. Uh, but as I said, it, it's brilliant that they actually got the license. And it's this paint is actually the Lamborghini Red. Um, so it, that's the reason this has so much paint. All of this is painted to be a specific red that is on the actual car. So that's where your issues are. And unfortunately, I don't think Takara Tomy's factories have really been designed to do a very extensive paint. You know, usually they're molded in a red plastic and then they'll paint the details, but this was molded and then painted. So um, that's just unfortunate that that's the way it is. A bigger company like Bandai and that don't tend to have as many issues. It still happens, but hey, I think they've done very well with this. And this being a glimpse into the future of Masterpiece line is very, very cool. Um, do I recommend picking it up? Hell yeah, I recommend picking it up. Go over to Big Bad Toy Store or one of the other uh, toy companies around and pre-order it or back order it or whatever you've got to do, even jump on eBay. Pick this guy up. He needs to be in your collection. <laughs> very, very cool figure. Uh, he suits... You could put him in a classics line if you really wanted to. If you don't collect MPs, um, he's still worth grabbing. Uh, looks awesome with Prime and... and uh, about to say Magnus. <laughs> Hot Rod and all those guys. Very good figure. Um, again, hopefully your paint's good. He looks a hell of a lot better in person than he does on photos and... Um, Hopefully it doesn't look too bad on this video, but hey, warning you now. <laughs> he looks a hell of a lot better in person than in photos. And as you'll see at the start of my video, there are a few photos there and you can link to my gallery. On that note, if you haven't been to my site, please check it out. It has all my full photo galleries of the figures that I take. Still learning, but I appreciate any feedback or comments you can give. Um, trying new setups and new things all the time, so uh, please do that. As usual, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm pulling out. Uh, we've got a few reviews coming up if you're watching this live, oh, not live, but when it came out. If you're watching it two years from now, you've probably seen the others. But we've got um, the TFC Toys Phantom review coming up, uh, Masterpiece Alert and Masterpiece Prime reviews coming up, and also Hot Toys Nick Fury. So look forward to all of those. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, this has been Chris. That's MP Sideswipe. Your reviewer. I'm me, and bye. Get your favourite figures and collectibles at BigBadToyStore.com.